thanks for joining me today. Got another little tool video going on. Now then, riveting, flipping it. Those of you who follow the channel, I've got this big project on the coffee van restoration build and all the rest of it. I've got hundreds of rivets to put in. The last one I did, I got the old thankful rivet gun. My arm was blooming out, it was wrecked. These, these stainless steel rivets are hard. They're really tough to put in. I'll just pop that in there and you're squeezing them up. But I tell you what, they do not take some squeezing. I mean, it almost, I can almost not do it, to be fair. If I, if I open the rivet gun right out, I can't squeeze it in. I'm having to go on short, short little presses. Oh, if I talk to do it. Oh, we oh, have yeah, that shot out, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They are tight, really tight. And when you've got to do a hundred or more of them. Pfft. So what do you do? Do I get the big concertina rivet gun? Oh, no, I don't. I go straight, straight down the shop and buy a Milwaukee electric riveter. Let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, now. I'm hoping this is going to be the bit of kit to relieve my aching arms. We get a bit of uh, destruction in there as usual. <sighs> Do you know what? The first impression is that feels like a unit. It feels blooming beautifully weighted. It's hefty. I'm not going to lie to you. It's got a bit of weight to it. It's like a barbell. But... We know how tough these are to pull up, and if this is going to do it without um, any bro any bother at all, we've got a little uh, mandrel capture there to catch the heads on the um, no the shafts on the rivets when they come out. Um, it looks like it's got like a, a little yeah, and then twisting like that. Um, battery M12 battery. As always, we've got a lovely little light on there. Shows what we're doing. We've got a battery gauge there as well. Nice little switch on it. Okay. So you saw how hard it was for me to pull up that one by hand. I better watch it because it shot off over there and probably punctured something. So um, I'll, uh, I'll do this one into the box just to see if it, it probably put a hole through the box. But there we go. Let's have a go with this. So. Let me try get a bit closer to you. You ready? Oh my God. What? It can't be that easy, surely. Oh, look at that. It's pulled that up like a peach. Whoa, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait to get it stuck in. I can't wait to get stuck in. I really can't. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get riveting. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, I love these. I love these tools. I love these tools. Oh, just what would you do without without the kit? That's all I can say. What would you do without the kit? <laughs> On here, it looks like we've got a little spanner in the front. We've got three different sizes of rivet heads to screw into there for all the different ones we need. There's not a lot more to say about this other than let's go do some riveting. <laughs> so this is the project we've got at the minute to build this serving flap. Thank goodness I've got this. The M12 Riveter by Milwaukee. So far, so good. I've had a go with it. I'm gonna go through you and show you uh, everything about it. It's just unbelievable. So, in the back here, you can hear it jiggling about. And you know that age-old problem of getting rivet ends in your tires? You think you've picked them all up, but there's one you've dropped. Look at that, it collects all of the rivet ends in here. What a nice little touch that is. But uh, yeah, let's bend these off and start afresh. We've got loads and loads of riveting to do. I'll show you how quick and easy this is and how much it saves your arm. I mean, my arm was suffering. The last one we did, oh God, so many rivets, hundreds of rivets. I was in trouble. My arm was just aching like a pig. Hoping this time it's gonna save me a bit of tendonitis. 
Let's get drilling, riveting and stiffening this uh, loading flap up. Straight away you can see how quick and easy this is. Pop them rivets into the end of it, straight into the, uh, the framework there, press the trigger, bang. And these are all stainless steel rivets. They're not easy to pull, they are tight. This is just making an absolute meal of it. It's just oh, unbelievable. Drop them in, push the old one through. Sometimes they do stick in the head. You just push them through, they go straight through into the little capture at the back. The strength of the pull. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Pulls it up beautifully tight. Absolutely. Snug as a bug in the rug. Up it goes, wallet. Can you imagine pulling these up by hand? I mean, and into any light, tight place like that from underneath. You just put your hand underneath, give it a pull. Away you go. Straight down the top, one after another. Bang, bang, bang. It's, <laughs> it's just light work, isn't it? So good, fabrication. If, you're in, if you are doing a lot of fabrication, then you can't go wrong with this. And this is the baby, this is the M12. They do do an M18 version of this, but to be fair, you've got to be doing some really heavy work to be uh, making use of the M18. This M12, like you can see, it's popping these through, no problem at all. Still on that original battery as well, we haven't charged it. Look at him, he's grinning like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> Are you surprised though? Look at that big box of rivets. <laughs> I'd normally be sweating and thinking, what am I going to do? You know, my arm is going to fall off. Not anymore. Line it up, get everything precise. You can pull that up, no problem at all. You're not going to move it because you're straining yourself trying to do it up. Think, do I put an extra one in there for a bit of strength? Yeah, I'm going to put a few more in because I don't care anymore. I'm just going to bang them rivets in look at it here we go <laughs> i could watch this all day to be fair it's such a <laughs> i love these close-ups oh look at that it's a delight absolute delight short ones long ones it don't matter you can see there's a little bit there in the head but it just pushes through bang away you go straight in this is a long one look at the length of that one Sometimes it will take two pulls. The big ones sometimes take two presses of the trigger, but don't matter. You know, it's just quick. It's so quick. Now I've been on this a while, so it's getting dark. You can see that the, the darkness is coming in. It's still going strong. I must have put a hundred rivets in this. They do say that this will do 250 rivets to a charge. This is the following day now. Look, and I'm still going. <laughs> oh, that was a task on it. I tell you what, thank goodness for that electric rivet gun because my hand would have been absolutely melted um, pulling these in by hand because they are super tough stainless steel rivets. Really, really hard to pull up. Well, <laughs> am I impressed with this? Oh my God. It is ridiculous. It is unbelievable. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can't believe I've gone for so long without having one. So let's get up close and personal. Look at this. It's an absolute thing of beauty. It really is. You've got that rubberized handle there, oil resistant rubber. Ergonomic design, that beautiful aluminium top there. Solid, really good build. I mean, I can't stress how good the build quality on this is. You've got the little uh, spanner there built in for removing this, the little ends on the on the rivet gun so we just slide the spanner out if you press the trigger and retract the, the uh, blades inside then it makes it easier to get this little nut off the end there when you release the trigger you can see the three teeth come up there okay if you hold that in it'll screw straight on make life so much easier for yourself you got the nice battery on this is a big four amp i've got on here at the minute but i very rarely use that on it to put it on there because it stands up on its end Bit tricky to get the big battery out of there. Try and give it a real good squeeze. Oh, come on you, here we go. And then that reveals the other sizes of the little nozzles there that you've got. One for every occasion. And they sit into that lovely rubber boot there that holds them all in place so you don't lose them. 
they just push in nice and tight nice and snug and when the battery's in there they can't come out anyway so you can't lose them it's a really good place to put them you've got the little belt buckle on the side of the unit as well if you want to hang it onto your belt again press this trigger down it'll go in if you don't press the trigger you have this problem it's on a spring you can push that and force it in but it's always easy just to retract those little blades there and then put that little nose noggin back on there look and then do it up nip that up ain't gonna go mad on it and then can put the tool back into the side of the uh, the rivet gun there beautiful design and put the little plastic case back on there you see here's all the rivet heads look they've all fell off keeps them all nice and tidy it keeps them all neat lock that into place ready for uh, yeah another few rivet extractions I can't believe I left it so long to buy one of these. I've been so impressed with it. it. Well, it's just earned its place in my toolbox and it ain't going nowhere. All those rivets I've struggled putting in, this just makes such light work of it. If they're really long, if they're a long shaft, two presses on the thing, bang, they're off. This is no more. That, that can just go back in the toolbox. <clears throat> Don't need that. I have to say, that is amazing it just is amazing i hope you've liked the video i'll put links in the description if you want to buy one i'll pop it in just give a click on that always helps me out no end um battery wise it doesn't use a great deal of power it seems to just whack these off and the batteries is a little two amp one i've been going for ages and i've still got three bars so yeah battery wise it just seems to last for absolutely ages like i say links are in the description if you've enjoyed the video drop me a little thumbs up like subscribe thanks for watching